Hey guys, I'm Alejandra. And I'm Caroline. And today we're making loaded peanut butter granola bars. Whenever I've got a trip coming up or a really busy week, I like to make a huge batch of these just to have something quick and healthy to snack on at a moment's notice. You guys are gonna love how easy these are to make. It's so fun. We've got some fun ingredients for this recipe. We've got some honey, butter, some mighty maple peanut butter that's actually been softened in the microwave a little bit, some brown sugar, vanilla extract, cinnamon, semi-sweet chocolate chips, a little bit of salt, some chopped peanuts, some dried cherries that have also been roughly chopped, and some rolled oats. All right guys, so we are gonna start by making the syrup that's gonna hold all this good stuff together. We've got some butter, I'll give you that. A little bit of honey. You could also use maple syrup if you prefer. That would work just as well Ooh, here. Oh, delicious. For a breakfast bar? Oh yeah, yes. totally. And then we've got our Mighty Maple Peanut Butter, which, like I said, we popped into the microwave for about a minute. Depends on the strength of your microwave. You really just kind of want to soften it up a bit, melt it up a little, so that it works itself into the syrup really nicely and easily. And then we've got just a little bit of brown sugar. So just got this over about medium heat. You don't want the heat to be too high because that the sugars in here will burn really quickly. So you kind of just want to keep it nice and gentle. Yep. Take your time with it. All right, so then while I'm working on this, lady, if you want to help me out by getting the other good stuff in the bowl already. Sure. We've got the oats All right. and the chopped peanuts, the dried cherries. We just ran the knife through the dried cherries a little bit so we have like nice pieces. Um, but you could actually even use any other kind of dried fruit you like. So blueberries, cranberries, even raisins, whatever you prefer. And just sort of stir this together a little yeah, bit? Yeah, just kind of stir it up, break it up a bit. Okay, so this is completely smooth and melted. It's nice and hot. You don't want anything more than like maybe tiny bubbles around the edges. That's about it. So now we can turn this off. And I'm just taking it off the heat. And I'm going to go ahead and add the vanilla extract and the salt, which is gonna balance out all that sweetness, and our ground cinnamon. Ooh, nice. Let's get that all stirred in there. Mm, this smells like breakfast now. <laughs> <laughs> it's delicious. It's maple and peanut butter and cinnamon and honey. So much goodness. So now into this bowl of deliciousness, we're just gonna pour our syrup. Mm. So easy. It's cool this is like a raw, granola bar. Oh, totally. You don't have to bake it anymore. Yeah. It's cool. No need to bake it. and It'll have a little bit of chew, just like those little chewy granola bars you might remember from growing up. So now I'm just going to toss this just to coat it completely in the syrup. You really just want to make sure it covers everything in there, all the oats, no dry bits. Caroline's got a baking pan that we lined with a little bit of foil and you can grease it too. And then that's just going to make it really easy to pop these out when they're ready to go. So you just wanna make sure everything's completely coated. This looks awesome. I'd probably eat this with a spoon if Caroline wasn't here to see me. <laughs> <laughs> and so now if you wanna, I'll hold this bowl while you just sure. scrape it into our prepared pan. Get that all in there. I love how easy this is. This is so fun. And then once you make it once, you can really play around with the flavors. So now that it's in here, we're just gonna use the back of our spatula just to press it into the pan really tightly. You just kind of want to press it all in there. Awesome. Pressure is going to be the thing that kind of holds everything together in addition to that syrup. Make sure it reaches all the way to the edges. All right, so this looks awesome. Now we're going to pop this into the fridge for about 20 minutes, half an hour. You just want the all the syrup to cool, everything to set completely. Then we can take it out and cut it up in bars. Awesome. All right, guys, we got these out of the fridge. They look awesome. And I'm just going to pull them right out. That's why the foil is so important, it makes life so easy. And now, all we need to do is just cut them. Easy. That is easy. Nice and easy. So I just want to go one and a half. There we go. So you're going to get about 10 bars from this. So there you have it, loaded peanut butter granola bars. All right, so would you like a granola bar? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Please help yourself. <laughs> <laughs> feels very formal. <laughs> <laughs> They're a little tray. Cheers. Cheers. Can't wait. Mmm. So awesome. Mmm. These totally reminds me of the ones I used to love when I was a kid. Totally. Mm -hmm. Decadent, but delicious. The peanut butter is perfect. Perfect amount of chew. A little touch of chocolate. Cherries. Mm -hmm. 
Granola bars are a great quick bite when you're really in a hurry. What are some of your favorite on the go snacks? Tell us in the comment section. Thanks for watching. We hope you liked the recipe, and if you did, give us a thumbs up. Every week, we cook up a new peanut buttery dish, so make sure you follow the Peanut Butter and Company channel to catch them all. We'll see you next time. All right. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. <laughs> all right, friends. All right, guys, so we are going to start by making the syrup that's going to hold all this good stuff together. We've got some butter, 